a company is soon going to learn if it has permission to develop outside established zoning laws and bring apartments to a community that's fighting to keep the project from happening. The development would be built on the site of the Church of the Nazarene on King Avenue between Highland and Hunter Avenues. 10 TV's Tanisha Millette talked with neighbors about their concerns and joins us now live from the newsroom. Tanisha. Well, Tracy, people who live along King Avenue say that that area is the northern boundary of the short north and that that neighborhood has a very strong community feel, but they say what's being proposed in their community just does not fit in with their neighborhood. Along King Avenue, you'll find large homes like this one, but Ethan Hansen says his home tells the story of the growth in the short north neighborhood. Our house used to be a rooming house. Uh, someone bought it in the early 2000s and uh, converted back to single family and really rehabilitated a blighted property and that story has repeated itself through the neighborhood. And Hansen says that has brought in people who want to take root, start a family and create a community. Neighbors say a proposed development project will reverse those gains. So it's clearly campus style housing. And while we have many students who live in the neighborhood and contribute to the diversity of the neighborhood that, that we appreciate, that style of housing is geared toward campus living and really not conducive to the neighborhood. JDS company City Space has applied for a variance which would grant the company permission to develop a property that deviates from the set of rules for land use and development in that area to build a 48 unit property geared towards undergraduate and graduate Ohio State students. We contacted the company president who was in Florida this weekend with family and he was unable to give us a statement but in the variance application he filed with the city he states the project would not unreasonably diminish or impair the property values, comfort or welfare of the surrounding community. Hansen says he and his neighbors aren't convinced. We want a development that works with the neighborhood and improves the neighborhood and as proposed we don't think this project is it. Columbus City Council will make its final decision at tomorrow's zoning committee meeting. In the newsroom, Tanisha Millette, 10TV News.